Okay, so now we're gonna learn about the last use case for the string function, how to replace specific substring with another substring using the replace function. As usual, let's understand the concept behind it, then we're gonna practice in Tableau. Let's go. Okay, the replace function in Tableau, it's very simple. It's gonna replace one substring with another one. So for example, we're gonna have the following address. And as you can see in the middle, we have the abbreviation of the street, so st dot. So I would like to have a normal wording of this. So instead of having the abbreviations, I would like to have the complete word street. And we can do that using the replace function in Tableau. Let's check now the syntax in Tableau. So it starts with a replace keyword and it needs three arguments. The first one is gonna be the string, the original text that's you want to manipulate the second one is the substring the one that you want to replace the third one is the replacement so it's really clear this is going to be the new substring the new word so here the output is going to be as well a string value so in order to solve this task in this example what we're going to do we're going to use replace then our text then the old one going to be the st dot the abbreviation this is the old substring and the new one going to be the street the complete word so how this going to work tableau has first to search for the substring that we want to replace so it's going to search the whole text in order to find the substring and in this example of course we're going to find it over here in the middle and the next step is that Tableau gonna go and start replacing this word with the replacement. So Tableau gonna take the SD dots and gonna replace it with the complete word of street. So at the end, we're gonna get Louis Street Paris. So, so as you can see, it's really simple. We are replacing the old value with a new value. So at the end, the string gonna look like this. So we're gonna have street complete instead of st dots. So now, of course, the question is, what can happen in the output and the results if we don't find anything? So for example, we have this address and Paris. We are searching for the st dots, but we don't have it inside the text. So here Tableau can return the original text without changing anything. So nothing gonna happen. So that's it, it's really simple, right? We're gonna go back now to Tableau in order to practice the replace function. Okay, so now we're gonna go and practice with the small data source. Let's go to the customers and we're gonna manipulate the phone number again for the customers. Now, as you can see, the structure in the phone number starts always with the plus for the prefix for the international call. So now we have the requirement to replace the plus with zero zero as a prefix. And now in order to do that, we're gonna use the replace function in Tableau in order to do the switch, the replacement. So let's go and create a new calculated field. We're gonna call it phone replace so it starts with the keyword replace we need now the field that we want to manipulate it's gonna be the phone number so we have it over here and now we need to specify for tableau the substring the old value so the old value is the plus sign and now we have to specify for tableau the replacement the new value the new value gonna be zero zero so that's it tableau has the calculation as a valid so let's go and hit ok and with that as usual we created a new calculated field in our data pane let's go and check the results so drag and drop the rows and now we can see in the result instead of having the plus sign we have everywhere zero zero and with that we have fulfilled the requirement and now we might get another requirement where they say you know what i don't want those minuses inside the phone number so it would be nice to remove them and now in order to do that we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna use the place function the old value gonna be the dash and the new value gonna be nothing let's see how we can do that so now let's go and edit our calculated fields we just want to add new replace function so let's go edit over here and here it doesn't matter whether we want to replace first the plus or the dash so now in order to do that i usually do it like this if i'm doing nested so replace so what we are replacing the phone number so instead of having the dash we're gonna have nothing so we are replacing the old value the dash with nothing so now in order to have it nested i would like to take this part the first one and put it instead of the phone and with that we are having nested calculations first we're going to replace the plus sign second we're going to replace the dash sign so let's take it to the first row and with that tableau is saying the calculation is valid let's go and hit ok and as you can see now in the results we don't have any dashes or plus sign so we have a whole number without any special characters so with that we solved the second requirement so it's easy right it's not that hard and we can do a lot of things with the replace function it's a great function to manipulate the string values in tableau so now for you we have the following task in the big data source in the product name we would like to replace the hash simple with a number as abbreviation and now you can pause the video in order to complete the task and once you are done you can resume it all right so we're gonna go to the big data source this time and we're gonna go to the products and we need the product name let's drag and drop it on the view 
and check all values. So now we're gonna make it a little bit bigger in order to see more values. So inside the data, we have some hashes like here, for example, at the start, and we want to replace it with in our point. So in order to do that, we're gonna go and create a new calculated field. So let's go on the arrow over here, create a new calculated field. We can call it product replace. So we're gonna start with the replace keywords, and then we need the string that we want to manipulate. It's gonna be the product name. The next we want the old value. So it is the hash. And then the replacement gonna be the number as abbreviation. So in our point. So that's it. As you can see, the calculation is valid. Let's go and hit OK. So with that, we have a new dimension, new calculated field in our data pane. Let's drag and drop it in the view and check the values. And we see over here, instead of the hash, we have the abbreviation of the number. So with that, we have learned that the replace function is very simple and as well, very important in many use cases. I use it a lot once I want to clean up the data. So sometimes we get bad quality from the sources and there will be a lot of like special characters. I can use always replace to clean up the data and to remove those special characters with something more meaningful in the visualization. Like we did in this example, we replace those special characters with something more meaningful or I use it a lot as well to change the format of something so for example we here have the phone numbers and we change the format from having the dashes to something else like without dashes and as well instead of the plus we have the zero zero so with that we are not cleaning up here the phone we are changing the format and how we are presenting the phones in the visualizations so on the left side we have the plus and dash on the right side we don't have them so we usually use the replace function in order to change the structure the format of one field it is just amazing and very important tool in tableau all right everyone so that's all for the replace function and with that we have covered all the use cases in the string functions we have learned around 16 string functions to manipulate transform and clean up the text values in tableau next we're gonna jump to another group of functions in tableau the date functions and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then i really appreciate it if you support like and comment this is really gonna help the youtube algorithm thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye